Hey y'all, welcome back to the best YouTube channel here on this platform. I'm just kidding. So I finally decided that I wanted to actually properly title these videos and we're gonna go ahead and call this Military Monday. I've decided to go back to calling these videos just that. So that's what they're gonna be called. That's what the playlist is gonna be called. And if you wanna see more videos like this, smash the subscribe button and let's go. Alright, so today on Military Monday, we are going to be talking about the reason why I decided to join the Kansas Army National Guard as an enlisted soldier. So, if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you probably know that I do have my master's degree, but I am an E5, a sergeant in the Army National Guard. So a lot of people tend to ask the question, honestly, it's the most freaking annoying question of life, but why aren't you an officer? Why are you an officer? Why didn't you go to OCS? Why didn't you do ROTC? I don't know, because I didn't, bro. I didn't. There's a lot of people in the National Guard who actually have degrees and didn't do any of that stuff. I'm not saying that it's something that I'm never going to do. I actually have plans in the works as we speak for what I would like to do and what my personal plan is for the military. Biggest thing that I can honestly say about this is you are going to give yourself to the military if you take it seriously, well to the guard. and. If you don't take it seriously, you're not going to really give yourself that much. Like, you're not going to put in very much effort. Especially if it's something that you don't care about. You're just not going to put in the work. So for me, the military is a big part of my life. I actually work full time for the Guard right now. And I know that it is what I want my career to be. So now that I have my master's degree, I do plan to do OCS. But originally when I joined, my goal, I guess, for joining the Guard was basically how can I get my degree and help my parents out with the cost of college. Joining the Guard was the best option for me personally because the Army National Guard in the state of Kansas was paying 100% of your tuition. I checked every other branch before I joined and no other branch does that. I know what you're probably thinking, and you're probably thinking I'm a psycho, that there are so many other branches who offer that same benefit. So to be completely honest, in 2010 when I joined, it wasn't like that. There weren't any other branches who offered to pay 100% of your tuition. The guard actually let me pick the school that I wanted to go to. And if you play your cards right, nine times out of 10, you are able to manipulate the system into the way that it's going to benefit you. I knew in my case there was only one school that I could graduate from, and that's the University of Kansas. I had no other option that I really wanted to do. Um, I knew that that was where I was getting a degree from, and the Army National Guard was going to pay the most money for me to be able to do that. So not only did they pay for my bachelor's degree, but they also paid for my master's degree as well. It all depends on how you work the system. And this is the main reason why I joined the military as an enlisted soldier. Now, when I joined, I can admit to you guys, I did ROTC. I've done two and a half years worth of ROTC in my career. I never finished because that's another video. My experience with ROTC just was not the greatest. And when I do decide to become an officer, I plan to do OCS instead. And once again, that's another video. So when people wanna ask the annoying question of why did you join the military as an enlisted soldier if you have a master's degree, my answer is I was worried about paying for school and absolutely nothing else. 
I never looked at the National Guard as being something that I wanted as a full-time career. I wanted to use it as a stepping stone to help me pay for college. And now that that's done, my goals have changed. As we get older, as we grow as a person, your life goals are going to change. Once you accomplish something, it's time to move on to the next goal. And that's exactly what I've done. I enjoy being an enlisted soldier. I am so thankful that I've made it to the NCO part of the world in the military. And I have learned so much and I'm still continuing to learn and that's something that whenever I do decide to become an officer I definitely will be able to take that mindset and those skills and apply that to a career of being an officer so there's absolutely nothing wrong if you have a degree with joining the military as an enlisted soldier. You just have to remember what your personal goals are and how everything is going to benefit in your career. I feel like that's what these videos always turn into is how is this going to benefit your career? But and it is a very important aspect of the military. So as usual, with my videos about the military, if you guys have any questions at all, you know that you can always leave them for me in the comments bar below. Email me, message me on Snapchat, Instagram, or Twitter. Anything, your girl's gonna respond because I am here to help you guys. This is a lifestyle channel here on YouTube and the whole purpose of this platform is for me to be able to influence and benefit and help the world one YouTube video at a time, duh. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I appreciate you. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.